What's going on with your gang? Today we got the 10 year takedown of YSL. This was this video was posted two years ago. Um, I just need a little bit more insight on it myself because I don't really like really know what's going on. I don't really be paying attention to all of that BS. I'm not gonna hold you like the Diddy shit, this, uh, Woody, all of that. Like I don't really like pay attention to that stuff. I'm not gonna hold you like that's that's a distraction from what's really going on out there, out here. You feel me? So let's get right up into this video. On May 9th, Fulton County Sheriff's Department took Young Thug into custody after what they say was a 10-year-long investigation. Shortly after, arrests were issued for 28 others that include Gunna, Duke, Yak Gotti, and more, who are all under YSL the label. An 88-page indictment was released that revealed all the charges being issued amongst them. Young Thug himself is being considered the organizer and head of operation. He's facing 56 different charges under the RICO Act where YSL is accused of being a criminal. Oh my god, my stomach would have went to my ass, came out my ass, and would have walked away. 56 charges, oh my god. Oh my god, they trying to put this man away forever. Organization. Because authorities have been building this case for almost a decade, we now have access to most of the evidence against them, including some of the more serious charges which include the murders of over 50 different people. One in particular, a man named Donovan Thomas Jr., also known in the streets of Atlanta by Big Nut. I'll explain why this is important. Shadow in the back of the room. He's the one directing traffic. He is the one that we're all afraid of. He's the one that's king slime. He's pulling the shots. He is the most dangerous of the 28 years. Thug grew up in the Jonesboro South Projects in Atlanta's Zone 3 neighborhood. He's the second youngest of 11 kids to which most of his siblings were involved in the streets already, so he jumped off the porch at a young age and joined the Bloods from Cleveland Avenue. It started with fights at school and eventually led to selling drugs which would land him four years in juvie. He was always looked at as the trendsetter in his hood. People were shocked by his wild behavior, fashion sense, and when he began rapping, even that was different from anything people were used to. He started making music around 2010 and branded his own crew YSL, which would eventually become his label after gaining mainstream success. But as early as 2013, the Atlanta Police Department had already started their investigation. In August of 2013, Thugger was pulled over for a traffic violation when they found a firearm in his glove box that had been reported missing months before by an elderly woman. The following month, his associate, YSL DK, would perform a home invasion that took the life of the homeowner. With the letters YSL tattooed on his face, the police had no choice from this point forward to consider it a gang, and they started watching their every move. Over the next two years, Young Thug's career would take off, all while authorities kept quiet and waited for him to slip up. At the same time Thug was gaining traction, so was another artist from Atlanta's Zone 3. He went by wife. My bad, I was dealing with something. But motherfucking... Nigga, they took out the granny? Found a firearm in his glove box that had been reported missing months before by an elderly woman. The following month, his associate, YSL DK, would perform a home invasion that took the life of the homeowner. With the letters YSL tattooed on his face, the police had no choice from this point forward to consider it a gang, and they started watching Sheesh. their every move. Over the next two years, Young Thug's career would take off, all while authorities kept quiet and waited for him to slip up. At the same time Thug was gaining traction, so was another artist from Atlanta's Zone 3. He went by YFN Lucci. Lucci is from Summer Hill, not far from where Thug grew up. Similarly, Lucci also comes from the streets and reps a blood gang known as ABG. A close friend of his named Big Nut encouraged him to start taking rap more serious after hearing his music. Big Nut was well known in Atlanta, so he helped connect Lucci with higher ups in the industry and get his career off the ground. For that, he had YFN's respect forever. As Thug and Lucci's careers were taking off, so was the tension between both their crews. But things would take a turn for the worse. In January of 2015, four members of YSL got the location of Big Nut who was getting his hair cut on McDaniel Street. They got into an Infiniti Q50 rental car and sped to his location. Big Nut was standing outside the barber's Infiniti Q location of Big Nut, worse. In January of 2015, four members of YSL got the location of Big Nut. No, allegedly, right? They didn't get caught, right? 
Enigma, who was getting his hair cut on McDaniel Street. Nobody got- They got into an Infinity Q50 rental car and sped to his location. Big Nut was standing outside the barber shop when four men drove by, spraying automatic weapons, taking his life and injuring two bystanders. At the time, police didn't have a clear motive and declared it a gang-related incident, so it remained unsolved. But this event would be the start. See? See? That man just went and was just all like YSL members. No, allegedly. Allegedly, they didn't. You nobody know if they really did it. You can't just say YSL members. January of 2015, four members of YSL got the location of Big Nut, who was getting his haircut on McDaniel Street. They got into an Infinity Q50 rental car and sped to his location. Big Nut was standing outside the barber shop when four men drove by, spraying automatic weapons, taking his life and injuring two bystanders. At the time, police didn't have a clear motive and declared it a gang-related incident, so it remained unsolved. But this event would be the start of an ongoing war between YFN and YSL that would last for years to come and cost multiple people their lives. Initially, only those closely involved knew about the beef, but eventually it leaked into their music and social medias. The biggest mistake both sides made was publicizing their issues, unknowing that the police were watching it play out and now had more information to work with. Lucci's mother house was shot up and YSL DK took multiple shots at YFN members in a drive-by. Of course, YFN retaliated and attempted to take the life of YSL Duke outside Magic City but failed as well. This was only a few of the incidents that were taking place, but the conflicts would end up splitting Atlanta's hip-hop scene as people- Damn, was that actual video footage too? Multiple shots at YFN members in a drive-by. Of course, YFN retaliated and attempted to take the life of YSL Duke outside Magic City but failed as well. This was only a few of the incidents that were taking- Second dude wasn't even blown. He didn't even want to take nobody life. He didn't want to do that time for real. He 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 wasn't ready for his life to change like that. No, not not that drastically. You feel me? Shit. That boy was that boy was ready to just say he was there. Fuck man, you gotta smoke him too. He gonna tell. YFN members in a drive by. Of course, YFN retaliated and attempted to take the life of YSL Duke outside Magic City, but failed as well. This was only a few of the incidents that were taking place but the conflicts would end up splitting Atlanta's hip-hop scene as people took sides. His career was starting to reach the mainstream, and a big part of that was the run he had with Birdman and their group Rich Gang. So when Lil Wayne accused Birdman of owing him $10 million, Young Thug stepped in and began taking shots at Lil Wayne. Literally. This passion... What? Is about making a connection. No way, allegedly. Before we get through. But no way. In April of 2015, Lil Wayne came to Atlanta to perform at a festival when his tour bus was followed from the airport to Cobb County, and eventually shots were fired into the bus. Nobody was injured, but this was still a shocking event. A man named Pee Wee Roscoe was arrested for the crime, and after a few days of investigating, it was revealed he too was a part of Thug's crew. The more crimes that were committed, the easier it became for authorities to s- What? <laughs> no way. What? <laughs> Not allegedly. Named Pee Wee Roscoe was arrested for the crime, and after a few days of investigating, it was revealed he, did he too it. was a part of Thug's <laughs> crew. The more crimes that were committed, the easier it became for authorities to slowly piece together all the names of everyone connected to YSL. With all this new information, and also the issues between crews being posted all over the internet, they were able to go back and look over past events as well to see if the dots connected. One of those was the death of Donovan Thomas Jr., or Big Nut, that we talked about. The murder was still unsolved, but with YSL raining havoc in Atlanta, they were looking for any clues that could put them away for good. Now that they knew why- Why is that dude in a dress? Can somebody explain why is that dude in a dress? Why is Thug standing next to a dude in a dress, smiling, laughing, dancing? That gotta be an op, right? He probably told the op put a dress on. Maybe? I don't know. Far-fetched. This junior, or big nut that we talked about. The murder was still unsolved, but with YSL raining havoc in Atlanta, they were looking for any clues that could put them away for good. Now that they knew YSL and YFN had issues, they looked into the case once again. Doing this, they discovered that the Infinity Q50 that was used in the drive-by was rented by none other than Young Thug from Hertz Rena Center. 
By now, they had enough evidence to put people away, but it still wasn't solid enough to tie Young Thug to most of the crimes as he wasn't the one doing the dirty work. The only way they would be able to get him was if they went after him with a RICO. This would allow them to charge him as the leader of YSL, therefore any crime anybody under him commits, he too could be taken down with them. Meanwhile, they waited patiently while countless more crimes were committed and evidence piled up, all while the years would pass by, giving YSL the impression they may get away with it. The most important thing that we are here to do is to keep this community safe, and we believe removing these 28 defendants will keep Fulton County safer. In May of 2022, the arrest warrants for 28 people believed to be a part of YSL were issued. Possibly the most shocking of all was that of Gunna. Although he's clearly known to be the biggest artist repping YSL right now, he's also possibly the only member who's known to not have a criminal background. He comes from the suburbs of College Park, Georgia, and it's well known that he doesn't have a history in street activity. But because he's signed and an associate to YSL, he too found himself in the RICO allegations. His charges only include two traffic violations for speeding and tinted windows, as well as his lyrics that they're trying to use as evidence that he's a danger to his community. In particular, Young Thug, Gunna, and Yak got his hit song, Take It to Trial. Because of this, his bond was denied. The allegations, just reading the indictment itself and nothing more, um, it is so clear that he is entitled to bond. There are, in essence, two traffic offenses, and he was uh, found guilty of a window tint violation. That's the RICO allegations with regard to four or five of the paragraphs of the RICO indictment. The other one claims that he was speeding and got a speeding ticket. Actually, wasn't even a driver. And the only other allegations in the RICO indictment involve lyrics um, for, for um, some of his songs, some of which are some of the most internationally famous songs right now. I saw you watching me come closer. Young Thug, on the other hand, has 56 different charges he's fighting that include the shooting of Lil Wayne's tour bus and the death of Big Nut, and possibly 50 others. Not as the man who pulled the trigger, but as the one calling all of the shots. But possibly the scariest part of this case is the fact that he's relying on 27 other people to not turn against him. According to prosecutors, multiple YSL members are already cooperating and claim they fear for their and their families' lives. That we have taken proffers from fellow gang members from Mr. Williams. They do not have motherfuckers cooperating at all. At all. They know, they know Thug got that bread. He gonna give that bread for that freedom. To keep on giving that bread. Not gonna hold you. I think he's getting bread out of this. He's getting free. Some are on this indictment, some are not. They have stated uniformly that Mr. Williams is dangerous. They are afraid of him, that if they cross him, he will kill them and their family. Therefore, Young Thug's bond has been denied as well. Meanwhile, police noticed an increase of cell phones trying to be smuggled into jail for YSL members. Instead of confiscating the phones, they decided to wiretap them, then proceed to let them through. Doing this, they've already caught one member who's been unnamed, having a conversation about getting evidence destroyed, and they were able to stop it. Only making things worse now that authorities know they're trying to make moves from behind bars. Without Bond, they will remain locked up until the trial begins in January of 2023. But with how the large this case began. is, it's likely even that will be pushed back. But if the takedown of YSL wasn't enough, Lil Keed, who was one of the few members signed to the label that was not arrested or accused of anything, he would pass away just four days after all of this came to light. To the world, YSL stands for Young Stoner Life Records and has given us countless hit songs. But to Fulton County? YSL is a gang and criminal organization, and they plan to put an end to its name for good. That's crazy. Got a little insight on it. <clears throat> Got a little insight on it, you feel me? Shoot, but this was that t the 10 year takedown of the YSL. Niggas, you feel me? The YSL Avengers. Oh shit. Hell yeah. The niggas is Avengers. Taking niggas out, body after body. Nah, I'm just playing allegedly. But now nah, I'm gonna get up with y'all in the next video game. Like, comment, share, and hit that shit button.